So you think that it's just going to get more competitive? Like, you think this is good for the game? Welcome to QB Unplugged with Deshaun Watson. That's him. That's yep. Deshaun Watson. There we go. <laughs> and me, Quincy Avery, brought to you by Lockerverse. Tap in for exclusive content and join the Dog Pound community. Each week we bring you unique perspective from the quarterback position with top high school, college, and NFL superstar Deshaun Watson. What's good, man? Hey, man, as strong as your Rolodex is, man, you got all these folks' numbers Get us a get us a guest. All right. Get us a guest on the show. I can get a guest. I can get us a guest, All man. Right. Just let me know. What 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 type of angle we want to go with the guest? I got an idea. I'm gonna text you offline, but we we, we I, I got yeah, somebody bet. I think we should bring them on. You know what I'm saying? We can right, talk send a them on. More. You gonna handle that? We can, yeah, I can handle that for sure. All right. What you, you got like on, you, man? You been good? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, look, you're you know more people than I do. I'm not the guy. I'm not you know, the you know, name of my people. QA. Yeah, but but when you text them, they gonna text back for sure, for sure. When I text them, they gonna be like, Hey, maybe we'll think about it, etc. No, nah, I got it. You apply you, you apply yeah, we'll do it together. Say less. Bet. So how you feel about the, the twelve team college football playoff? I think I think right now, it fits. When it first started, no. Nah, like, why does it fit more now than ever? <laughs> because it's the NIL. It's the transfer report. Like, there's so many more teams that are, like, with players and with teams. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's, it's just all over the place right now. So, I think, like, back then, it was just true. Like, all right, cool. We're going to recruit. Who got the best recruiting process? And boom. Like, now it's just. You know, you know what's wild about that? You say that, like, teams weren't paying players when you got there. I know for a fact, I'm not going to talk about which team, but I know for a fact the schemes that people had in terms of getting guys to, I saw people uh, rig gas station lottery machines, like the the hit the button, boom, I saw. Gas station? Mm-hmm. You know, in the, you know, in like the hood when they got but the gas station. But it was balanced, station. though. Everything was balanced it out. It wasn't balanced. It was the people who had the most money. Okay, this guy's not playing anymore. Why the do you remember the number one player in the country when you were coming out, Robert Ndishi? Yeah, I remember. Him. Why the why was he at, oh. at Ole Miss? And what happened? That he was just look, hey, I, I, why I'm just gonna say why was he at Ole Miss? And it wasn't because they had great facility, okay? Because they don't. Alabama, Auburn, Clemson, nah, there's sure. so many schools. Everybody knows. Better. I was just like, yeah. <laughs> when, I, he, we, when he was driving the S class in high school, I'm like, oh. Okay, but all I'm saying is there's been a long time where people have been getting paid. NIL doesn't make it that for much sure. difference. For sure. And no, it don't make any difference at all. I'm not saying, I'm not tripping. I wish I would have got paid. Like, I'm not tripping on <laughs> I want everybody to get paid for sure. I think As they should. maybe it's the transfer portal. I, I don't like me, the transfer. I don't know the difference. I don't know the difference. Mm-hmm. I guess NIL is the money part where they can pay you, but then it's like mm-hmm. the transfer. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, it's like, so NIL... So they don't pay you to play, right? They're going to pay you. They give you the money in advance for marketing. Now, the thing about the NIL is your marketing as a college athlete is never going to be that much. You right. know, as a NFL superstar, before you really started going, there was very limited in terms of what what marketing dollars were out there. There's no yeah. marketing dollars until you're really good. These guys no. are getting marketing deals, and they're not very marketable. So it's obviously we're paying you to be on the football team. Now, collectives, right? I know you've probably heard about the collectives. The collectives are a group of people who basically support and sponsor college. So a bunch of dudes who are alumni or whatever, they pool their money together. And then they start, hey, this is how much we're going to give him, him, him. And they basically do it like a, a salary cap. Just different teams have different budgets. But the, the school with the biggest budget is someone you would never think. Who, who is that? Biggest budget. Give me, uh, give me what division they in. Number the Big Ten. Big Ten is shit. Indiana. Ugh, it's Nebraska. They got the biggest That's what budget. I went to. <laughs> hey, 
Now you're putting two and two together. (laughs) Like it's making it balanced now. So that's why I go back to like the 12. You can do that now because it's balancing everything out. Before then, bro, I don't give like I don't care. You're not you can do whatever backdoor slide to go to Nebraska. I'm not going to Nebraska over Georgia. Yeah, it ain't good. All right, cool. All I need is my me. Now we got the most money. Let's go get a top receiver. Let's go get a top alarm. You know what I'm saying? You can do that now. It's like free agency. And the thing about it is these guys can go somewhere like that, like Nebraska. Let's say he's just not good. Or let's say he's great. He goes there, gets a bag. They play good, whatever. Then if he wants to win a national championship, just go somewhere else because the, the transfer <laughs> portal, the transfer portal is is crazy right now because they're going to make it so you can transfer as many times as you want. That's crazy. Because they're saying that it is limiting how much money you could make in NIL. So it's going to limit your earnings. So the NCAA is not going to be able to stop you from transferring four times. You're literally about to be able to go to four different schools. Every year go to a different school. You just switch to school every semester, bro. If you can. Every semester. If you're a football player, then you're a hooper. You know what I'm saying? Let me, uh, I'm going to be at Arizona (laughs) for the best. (laughs) I'm going, I'm going, uh, Bama for football. I'm gonna transfer to Duke for basketball. Like that's... Ronald Curry, you know the Saints QB coach. He was the number yeah. one QB and number one point guard in the country when he came out. He'd have, oh, wow. he'd have made a he'd have made a killing. How much you'd have made in NIL? What you thinking? Oh, I'd be a millionaire for sure. You'd have probably got about so starting quarterbacks probably about one seven five, like a elite quarterback, <laughs> one point seven five. And then oh, if you really. Fun. Caleb, Caleb probably did about six mil this year. He, yeah, he, six mil this, he did six mil this probably. year? I already did I'm 10. not going to get his fight, but he, he did <laughs> oh, sure. I already did 10. He's he, in LA he, off a of Heisman. It don't matter, though. Why is it not? Ain't that much corn. To, what are you? What is the money market in South Carolina? Like, how Bro, are people I'm making it? Bama, like, let alone, that was my Heisman. No one that, ever, yeah. ever, I, and everyone knew I should have probably won two Heisman. Okay, like, you beat them in the like second. Corner Clemson, and it's like we're going unfit. Like we were lit, you know what I'm saying? And we was no, like, it was big league. But you can't everybody. get money after. You can't get money after the year. But I'm saying the whole year, like my yeah, my, my, my freshman year, I, I got ACL. hurt, of course. But yeah, those games I was lit. I'm the lead. I was going crazy. My first game, I'm six touchdowns. The next game, six touchdowns, and then this, and then that. So everybody knew, and then I came in the next year. Cool, I would have made a little bread. I would have had some, you know, good chess. And then we, once we got to the playoffs and the end of the year, crazy. But the year, my junior year, for sure, <laughs> you'd have ran the bag up. I mean, crazy because that's when everybody knew from the spring right after the the first Bama game. Everybody knew Clemson Bama again in Tampa. Like, it was it was already written. It's funny thing about that first game you played. I remember that first touchdown you threw when they was like. Bert and they was in Tampa too, and the middle linebacker tried to run with oh, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right over his head. Crazy, like thinking of yeah, that was wild. Uh, crazy, I didn't but yeah, that right. game, you you was about to get you was about to get a bag. I, I'm you I'm mad that, that I hurt that game though. That's kind of. Did you get hurt that game? Is that the game you got hurt? No, in? I just played one drive and then I didn't get back yeah, into the fourth. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I was like, nah, you didn't get hurt that game. Uh-uh. So you think that. It's just gonna get more competitive. Like you think this is good for the game? It's good for entertainment, for sure. So, so like, is it bad for the game? For the game, I think it actually actually is good. I, I say if I had to pick, I'm leaning towards good just because it levels out the playing field for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think you it might gives have, more people opportunity to be good. Yeah, like even like. They got they got blown out, so mm-hmm. you know, in a, in a football game or any game, you play until the final whistle. But like Liberty, when they play Oregon, they got they got smacked. But the first quarter, no more just playing, and that's like, all right, you you ain't really no offense in them, but like it's a little bit lower school. But like, imagine you having like a team that can spin some bread, like a I don't know Purdue. And they I just think get Liberty's going to be one of those schools, and they get a couple guys. The thing that I think that it helps with is maybe you can't field a whole team of really, really great players. But if you got a team with, you know, a fair budget, 
you you might not be able to get a team full of the guys from Alabama, but you could probably pay the guy in Alabama who's maybe second, you know what I'm saying, second, third best player. Yeah. We could pay you more here to be our guy than some of the other schools. So I think it's going crazy. It's going to chip away at some of the top schools because you'll get one of your elite guys. Somebody's going to be like, yo, I'm going to give you a couple extra dollars. Um, so it's going to be just a diversification of talent. But the thing that I don't think people know about the transfer portal is colleges can't, they can't reach out to guys before they go to the transfer portal. But if you know a wide receiver skills trainer or the lineman version of me or the D-line version of me, yeah, you can talk to him and say, hey, tell your boy this is we how much want- money we have. You know what I'm saying? We want yeah, him, you know what I'm saying? And there's lots of colleges around the school with like consultant agreements with coaches like that. So it's very easy to find out how much you're worth. I know a lot of like the, the numbers that people throw out around guys, they're so far off. Like they say Marvin Anderson getting 20 million. He ain't getting 20 million. But nah, I was even there's, there's I'm a, not million. <laughs> You just said 20 million. I might go back to Clemson real quick. Make sure my <laughs> <laughs> What? I'm going to stay my last year for sure. Exactly. So there's it's a lot of like fluff out there, but there's a lot of way for you to make sure you can get guys. Yeah, but, no, it's crazy. But that, you know what's insane though? I'm about to cut you off. Is uh, Etn the one, the running back, the little uh, one from Florida, the the, Florida, the not Clemson, but the Florida runner. Oh man, <laughs> I that know them folks in That's insane. Like, but think about that. What, he didn't even saying. have his name out there in the portal. In the portal at Georgia, like he knew he was going to Georgia already. Like that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like the oh, like you, you when you transfer or you left a school back in it, like a couple years ago, like you're not going to the rival school usually. They wouldn't let you. You couldn't transfer within the conference. What? The coach exactly. Like, nah, he's gone. Nah, like, uh, you ain't even. What? <laughs> nah. We'll let you go to Vandy, but we're not letting you go to Georgia. <laughs> yeah. And you was our starting back. Man, you mm-hmm. tripping. I mean, I don't know if they play each other now because the SEC is big. So I heard that they might not even play I each think other. They still in the East. They gonna play each other. But they still yeah, do. Don't, don't don't they still playing Jacksonville. They did this year. I, I know they're talking about changing that game, but that's their big crazy rival too. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like things like that is 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 wild to me because I grew up on that. You know, we all grew up on that. You think so. it's fucking the game up. Keep it a bean. Is it fucking the game up? But the transfer portal. Yeah. The way they got it so loosely right now, yeah. I How think, would you do it? I don't like it. If, if they were like, hey, Deshaun, we want you to run the rules of college football, what would you do? I mean, I'd cut How it would you get four this? times. Like, you, can, you don't have no limit to transfer. Like, that's nuts, bro. Like, <laughs> I, I just for, for me, I just don't understand it. So, like, maybe that's what. I just don't have a lot of knowledge on, like, how thing like you just had to explain everything to me, so I'm just seeing it on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? And like the, hey. new, the TV, so like I haven't really looked into it. I'm like, all right, these are the rules. This is what's going on. Then it would probably make it would probably make more now, sense. Now, like, right now, the rule says you can transfer once, but there is some legislation. The Attorney General of West Virginia is pushing some things through, so you can basically unlimited transfer. But yeah, I think that I don't about know, money, if I was yeah, if I exactly. But I feel like That's, everybody out there is getting as much money as they can for them. I would too. probably so I would I would change the rules. I would create contracts for players through the school. So stop doing the NIL. Right. Like the school is paying you this much money, and if the school pays you this much money. This is how long you're under contract for. Now you can negotiate your contract however you want, but there's some, you know, like you get some safety in doing a longer term contract. Fast. It might not always work out for you the best, but. If if I was running college football or college sports, oh, I would like. make football their own sport because I don't think that the other sports need to be traveling this far for other things. We yeah. would we would pay everybody their fair market wage. So whatever you felt like you could earn, like we'll pay you. That might be for some guys fifteen thousand dollars, some other guys a million. But you they do need some guardrails. They did a horrible yeah. job kind of figuring That's out. That's tough what's though to do contracts though, like because everybody got to pretty much have an agent, right? Unless you have like a team agent that explained it to you, but how do you yeah, trust we that? You probably need a lawyer. Yeah, yeah you're not gonna trust school. They got they a lawyer. Go over. You know, college got 125 people on the team. Didn't didn't I didn't think about that. Yeah, I, I you know what I'm saying. 125 people. That's 
crazy. Hey, my boys, y'all can pay me 3%. I'll collect y'all 3% and I'll handle <laughs> what? it. What? I'll just I got do you. All the, <laughs> all the college quarterbacks, I got you. All right, I'm going to get my little 3%. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take 2%. But yeah, that's what I feel like needs to happen. We'll, fi we'll figure out the agent part. All right. Yeah. We'll figure that out. We'll start an agency. I think that you can upfront the bread for me to go see the guys. <laughs> and then we'll get it. <laughs> If you uh if you were at Clemson now, right, your junior year, let's say it's your junior year right now. All right. Would you and they just played in this bowl game. You knew you were going to the NFL, picking getting picked super high. Would you have played in the bowl game? Uh right now. If I was there right now. Yeah, when y'all were what, eight and five or something like that. Like you're a good team. And I was already a high not, pick. I'm probably I'm probably you, I'm probably you know, spot. You not you not you not playing that game? I probably wouldn't play that game. To be honest. What if you were a second rounder? Like, what's the limit? Like, when second should you guys play? Which I'm gonna clear cut like how I was first rounder, top fifteen, yeah. whatever, top ten, possibly even top five. I'm I'm leaving. And I'm not, I'm not, I probably wouldn't play that game unless all my my dogs played in it. Then it's like, but we had a couple. You know, me, Mike Williams. I mean, Jordan was gonna get picked. Tay had opportunity. Wayne got picked. Couple of defensive guys. I would. I probably wouldn't have played in that game if it was like an Orange Bowl, not the not the playoff one, but like just like it's a, just bowl. a New Year's Bowl, like a big like a big time like, game. Like, like CJ played in his game last year. CJ yeah. played in this game. Bonix played in this game this year. Like Bonix, yeah, I would have played in that because it's like this is what I dreamed about. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm gonna play. I'm going to Arizona, Phoenix. Like, I'm about to go. One more time, but like, if it's like the cheesy bowl or no offense, you no, know, no, no disrespect, the pop tart bowl, bowl or whatever it is, ain't it? Yeah. yeah, or the mayo bowl, like I probably wouldn't, honestly. Do you yeah. think that that the play? So the play, you don't think that? Do you think the players owe it to the teams to to play in these games? I think I think nah, the players don't owe nobody anything for real. Boy, fuck them. <laughs> we talking about. I'm saying like I don't think. <laughs> nah, like I don't well, think. My they boy, like I went out there and played every game I could. Right, and I, I, this game is just for your entertainment. It don't do nothing for us. I don't get no right. check at the end of this. You know, like, <laughs> no, I'm I'm big vibing. It went cool. You know what I'm saying? It yeah, is what I, it I is. I enjoyed my time. We didn't make it as far as we wanted to. But if it's one of those big big bowls, one of the six bowls. And mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Then yeah, I'm playing in it because that's that's gonna be prime time. Like it's a great fun opportunity, and we playing against somebody lit. But like, nah, I probably want to play it against Kentucky. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, so you <laughs> did watch the bowl game? I watched it. Yeah, I just I said a random bowl. I know it was the only thing. It was the cheese bowl. I thought I, think I thought uh yeah, but Clemson played Kentucky. I think yeah, they played Kentucky. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's why I said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to I want to play it against Kentucky at twelve on yeah. Friday. So you been so you were watching a bunch of football. Now we yeah, about I, to watch some international football. What team do you watch? I I know you be locked in on international yeah. soccer. Who are you watching right now? Right now I'm, I've been in that uh, Premier League. So like Arsenal, uh, Manchester City, Liverpool, uh, the Spurs. I think it's like Ashton Villa. Like I've been in that UK kind of bag a little bit. Of course, I'm always rocking with Bayern Munich. Uh, That's your and team. Then I like, yep, and I like Madrid. Um, and then I've been lately been looking at some Saudi stuff. Like I might catch some Saudi highlights because you know Neymar and uh, Ronaldo. Oh, I forgot they got real players over there. They yeah, got they the got some dogs over there. Yeah, so they be playing, they be killing them. But like, <laughs> they're yeah. still cool. You know what I'm saying? To just watch. So who is um? There's a guy. She weeks back came out was like taking pictures of LeBron. You could tell LeBron didn't know. Him. But I looked at Buddy's Instagram, 46 million followers. Do well, you know the soccer hope. player took a picture of 1B2? Let me find I got to look this up. Hold on. Nah, yeah, he came over to the games. He was, he did a little tour. I, we, uh, because there's, there's certain players that usually come over. Who, what team he played for? Uh, Soccer player pick with LeBron. Is it Madrid? Is it Vin? Is it, Madrid? Uh, uh, come on. Is it Vinny? He just did it. Um, it, was, it was big time. Vince, like, everybody's dream? like, oh, LeBron definitely yeah, does not LeBron. know. Him. Yeah, because it's this picture right here. It, oh. Yeah. 
talking about that picture. Exactly. Yeah. Who was Buddy? Nah, nah. He's solid. Nah, he good. He like, yeah. He one of them. <laughs> he one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, he played for Madrid. Uh, mm -hmm. Number seven. Yeah, he's like bro, a left, like left forward or something like that, right? Yeah, or a striker or something like that. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah. And the only reason I like I like Madrid because I went to a game when they played Barcelona a couple years ago. Um, and then my my dog David Alaba, um, Alba, hope I'm saying it right. Uh, David, he, he yeah, he was a big uh, Bayern, and so he went to Madrid the last couple of years, and so he played over there. Um, but yeah. I be watching. I, I love soccer. You know, I'm I was that like, it on. So like, what was so everybody got a moment in terms of like, oh, yeah. this is a thing that I really like. This is a, the time I went to it, and that kind of what makes me go back to it. Was yeah. that your moment for soccer, or was it a different time that you got to go out there for some soccer related? I think my moment was the trip when I I went to Bayern Munich. It was 2017. It was an all season trip with the NFL. Mm -hmm. We went to Bayern, we watched Bayern. We kicked it with the players. That was a cool vibe. It was like, all right, cool. Like, I, you know, I, I, I kind of, you know, mess with the Germany, you know, football vibe. And then we did really? with Amsterdam, and then we went to Paris. And then that Paris one is when the one that got me. That's when Ronaldo was with Madrid. It was Ronaldo and uh, Madrid versus Paris versus Neymar and I think Bappe and all them boys. Uh, so it was just like, nah, what? it was lit. <laughs> this is, I, I, I'm cool with this. Go to the soccer game, go to dinners, go to the club. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this is a vibe over here. Cause I already like Europe. I already like traveling. So it was like, that was the trip in 2017 where I was like, I like soccer. You know what I'm saying? So, like, now to the point where I'm already I'm mapping out my off season travels based on soccer games. Cause I want to go watch. So, is, is Ronaldo the goal? Is it Messi? Oh. Is it Neymar? Nah, it's not Neymar. It's Ronaldo or Messi. Really? What yeah, about no, light skin buddy? Super Messi, fast. Messi. You talking about Bappe? My Bappe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't there. Only he was like, he, he's good. He he's ain't. younger though. He's younger, so it's like he still got some, you know, growing to do. He still got years, but like Messi and Ronaldo, they like, you know, they high thirties, forty. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I think my, uh, I think my Bappe like twenty five. I think. Yeah, I thought he was like 28, 30. Nah, I think he yeah, like he's 25. 25. Yeah, he young. Um, Vinny, uh, Vinny Jr., he young. He like 25, I think. Um, but I think, man, honestly, that's tough, dog. I like both of them. I, that's a coin flip for me. I can't choose. But I know who's going to be that dude, though. The dude Ooh. from Manchester. What's you his ever, name? Uh, Colin. It's like er, on, let me check. It's like E R L I N G, and then Holland. It's like two A's, H A A, and then Land. He from Germany. Uh, I think he's from Poland, but he was with Ger a Germany team a couple years ago. Oh, the the white dude with the, the, the yeah man he, dog cold, bro. <laughs> hey, he's cold like that. Yeah, what? Right. I don't see. Okay. I don't see play live twice. I did not know you was really in the soccer game like that. Okay. I don't have a soccer game. game. I have soccer on on the highlights more than, than football. Cool. You said you were watching soccer highlights, so I'm gonna put a little pressure on you, okay? I right, go ahead. I'm going to it's gonna be a word association game. I'm gonna I'm gonna name a player, you you give me an equivalent for soccer. All right. watch it. Uh hold on, so you want me to match up with soccer? I don't know all the Just players. Like, okay. You know somebody, <laughs> man. Give me something. Um, Sean Watson, I say. You know, I'm thinking like a center midfielder distributes the ball, aggressive when they need to be. I don't know all that. I don't know all that. So this game ain't gonna be working. This game ain't gonna work. <laughs> give me something. Just give me that. <laughs> hey, never ain't gonna work because I don't know no center field names like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking straight strikers. Like, one okay, give me a striker name. Um, Sean Watson. I would say, yeah, I'd just say Holland. Okay. Yeah. See, for, for Holland, I'll probably, I'll probably, Holland's like 22. So you going age wise too? I mean, young up and comer, I'd probably give it to Caleb <laughs> Williams. You know what I'm saying? For you, I, I would I'd go. It to, I'd give it to CJ. Oh, okay. Fair. Caleb, Caleb ain't played in the league Caleb yet. Caleb ain't played in the league yet. You know what I'm saying? So you go. 
He he like on the whatever that that shit is underneath. Yeah. Caleb coming up. He gonna be up there yeah. next. But okay, yeah, Holly, 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 CJ, like, for sure. Okay. Oh, um, all right. So then, how about this? How about I give you a a soccer player? And you give me the NFL. Yeah, I can do that. Let's do it. <laughs> let's start. Let's start with uh, Rodri. Right. I think Josh Allen. Okay. All right. Let's let's move. Up. I like that. I like that yeah. a lot. Uh, Holland. Holland. I think it's Young. Erling Holland. Yeah. Erling Holland. Yeah, that's my city. Young, bright, bright future. I'll say CJ. CJ Shot. Okay. He is. He he's a, a baller. All right. Harry Kane. Kane, I don't know how to say his name, but Byron yeah. Munich. Byron, Byron, yep, Byron. Uh, I'm going Joe Burrow. Very just what professional, about- do the job, just like, you know what I'm saying, play for a real, you know, traditional team, just very structured, but like, when you step on that field, like, he gonna give you the business for sure. Mbappe. Mbappe. So that's tough. I think. How about when you bring Neymar back to Paris and you got both of them? You can go either way. You can go Jalen Hurts or you can go Lamar Jackson. Any one of them. They both go on when they step out and do what they do. Now we hopping into my favorite segment, the Q4. DY gives his list of his top four, if anything. Today's question is, let me get them top four soccer cities around the globe. Top four soccer cities around the globe. I'm going Munich, Bayern Munich, so Munich, mm-hmm. uh, Madrid, for sure. Somewhere in the UK, I feel like all the UK teams are lit. You know what I'm saying? I went to an Arsenal game, so Arsenal was lit. It was in London. But then, yeah, Manchester. So I say anywhere in the UK, they all going to be the premium league. They all piped up. Fire. They all piped up. And then I'll probably say, probably say Barcelona. All right, and with the World Cup coming to the States, we got a list of a bunch of cities. Yeah. What city are you are you gonna go see a game? Hell yeah. They ain't got one in <laughs> Cleveland. All right. Nah, they I'm don't. gonna give you the they rundown don't. of the cities. I'm gonna give you a rundown right. of the cities. You tell me where you're going. We got Atlanta, Boston, Dallas, Houston, Kansas City. I think the championship might be in Kansas City. Los Angeles, Miami, New York, New Jersey, San Fran, Seattle, Guadalajara, Mexico City. Man, Guadalajara, Mexico City, Toronto, Vancouver. Actually, I think the championship is in uh, New York, New Jersey. How they gonna play that MetLife? Because I thought they don't play on turf. You tell me. They got to Yeah, they want to take. They definitely take the field. Out <laughs> the of soccer life. players be. They, I know, they I know very how y'all particular. football players. <laughs> y'all football players <laughs> pregame be like really finicky, but them soccer players they just be like, no, oh, we ain't doing it. I don't, I don't know what y'all thought was good, but we field. ain't doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah they 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 about to bring in that whole. I guarantee you, they're bringing in a whole field from wherever they want to bring it from. So it's gonna be brand yeah, grass, that grass out. wet, watery. <laughs> like I don't understand how they wet the grass like literally two minutes before they walk on the field. Like it's soap, but that's how they like to play. And then the mm. cleats on the stubs is like this. But if I had to pick my four, Miami gonna be fire. Houston's gonna be lit. Oh, oh. LA's gonna be lit. And I'll say Atlanta. We got the same list. We got the same <laughs> list. <laughs> For sure. Them the four cities. Like New York, yeah. Ooh. But not like them other four. Okay. You know what's uh, crazy? I wonder where let, I wonder where they're gonna pit the teams in Atlanta though. Yo, I just they built a new soccer facility. Like by the airport, it's supposed to be So oh, I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But where yeah, they gonna like? Where where's the hotels gonna be at? I mean, obviously downtown, huh? It's gotta be five stars. You know what I'm saying? They ain't staying in though. No... <laughs> Boy, they got too much money for that. Hey, they better have a whole tutorial. Like, hey, this is where we need to go. Do not go here. <laughs> Stay. In I the got hotel. the list. Because <laughs> I already know them boys. I yeah, they they ready. <laughs> Four years apart or two years apart. <laughs> oh man. And that was Defoe's four soccer cities he loves around the globe. And even a few cities he is looking forward to hitting the game when the World Cup comes to this state. Make sure you guys continue to tune in to Lockerverse. Hit the, all the likes, subscribes, all them buttons. Hit them. 
We look forward to seeing y'all soon. Keep tapping in with QB Unplugged.